welcome back to my channel so this is a special request from one of us from one of my subscribers for how to make this leaf it is actually a blessing tea. but the main thing she pointed out is the fact that um how we how is it possible that you cut it and the flare the down part will not be bigger than the upper part so that is why this tutorial is coming up so i'll be using my mannequin as my model because there are some things i need to show you this starts from your measurement before you show so the first thing i'll do is to measure the armhole of this mannequin i'm measuring the armhole the round armhole of this mannequin the round armhole of this mannequin is 12 and a half 12.5 12.5 I need to note it down 12.5 So the round sleeve of the mannequin Grand arm O is 12.5. I'm writing it down. 12.5 inch. And the length we want to use the sleeve length. I won't make it too long because I don't have a lot of fabric. So the length we want to use is the length of the of the sleeve is we are using eight inches. We are using our um, sleeve of eight inches. Eight inches. So sleeve length is eight inches so you can also measure your underarm that is from this place but for you to get this remember we said our arm o is eight inches so i'll make an indication of that where that eight is i'm using a chalk so this is where my eight is this is where my eight is now i want to measure underarm measuring from under the um, arm like this is called underarm measurement so I want to measure it. I'll measure up to these eight inches. So from here to this eight inches, I have three and a half. It's not even up to three and a half. I have three point two five. Three point two five. The underarm is three point two five or three one quarter. Yeah, it's also called three one quarter. So is it that you measure it like this? And now, when we are doing the cutting, I'll also show you a way that, for adventure, if you do not measure the arm or how you be able to do it. That is how we do it. Our mannequin can step back for a while till we cut. So, when cutting these, I don't like to waste fabric. That is one thing about me. I don't like to waste fabric. So this is how I do it. We are cutting a 360 degree flare, but this is how we do it. Remember in my previous video, you can check it out. I'll drop the link in the description box. I told you that when we are cutting our 360 degree flame, we use our circumference. We use waist circumference or whichever circumference we are using. In this case, we are using the circumference we are using is our round arm O because that's where we'll be placing our flare. So this is our round arm O. We'll be dividing it by 6.28. We divide it by 6.28. So divided by 6.28, we have 1.999 something. I'll just approximate to 2 inches. Keep that aside. So that is radius. Our radius is 2 inches. Let me come back. I said when cutting 360 degree flare, check the video. I have a video. I've dropped it in the description box. If you are still not clear on the 360 degree flare, I'm talking about it. If you are making your 360 degree flare, you divide your circumference by 6.28. So in this case, the circumference we are using is the round arm O. So our round arm O is 12.5, the one we measured from the mannequin. So we are dividing it by 6.28. So we got 1.999 something. I've approximated it to 2 inches. Now let's come to Now, if you measure your um underarm if you measure your underarm you can start like this 
or let's use the normal measurement before we go to the under and part. So the sleeve length is 8 inches. This is our 8 inches. Remember, I'm not, because this is just for a video, I'm not adding any seam, any seam allowance, so any sewing allowance. So you need to add your seam allowance and your sewing allowance to the length. So 8 inches, and the radius we got, 2 inches. The first, what you do is you first measure 2 inches. Then you measure another 2 inches. Now from this middle mark, from the mark in the middle here, you take your 2 inches round. Take your 2 inches round. Remember we measured 8 inches here, that is the length we need. Now here, this will be the one that will be under here. Since we have our underarm measurement, we just input our underarm measurement in, which is 3. Point, we input our underarm measurement, which is 3.25. We just put our 3.25 here. 3.25. Then this 8, try and measure this line. Get this line here. Uh, where is my ruler? I can't find it. Let this line be straight like this. So from here, the 8 inches we are using. Measure that 8 inches. The 8 inches. Remember from here to here, I measured 8 inches. I have divided this line into So measure your 8 inches round like this. And here, just connect this, connect this, connect this to this here, and we have what we need. This is what we have here. Then you will cut. Then you will cut. You are cutting these two inches out. Now let's assume for adventure you didn't measure your underarm. After these two inches, after the two inches, two inches, for you to know the length here, you can just subtract like three inches from what you have up here. Let's assume I didn't measure my underarm and this is what I have here. So and I decided to subtract three inches from this. When you subtract three inches from eight inches, you are left with five inches. Let's assume I have this five inches like this. What I will do is to know if this will show under this is this. Is this? This is what you do. This up. Do it like this. This up. Do it like this. Let's assume it is this five that I have measured and I have chosen it and I have chosen the five. Instead of this, you know, we, we actually measure it. I actually measure it. But if for eventually you did not measure, just subtract like three inches. You have subtracted the three inches and you have done it like this. Now you want to know maybe it will show under it or it will not show. Just take this place like this. This is the long part. This is the short part. Just take it like this. And fold it a little. Remember, it stops here. So wherever this long one stops, that is where the short measurement will be. That is in case you do not measure the underarm. But if you measure the underarm, it is the easiest because if you check it now, if you can see it very well, I don't know if you can see it very well. When you fold it, it is where it is supposed to be. It is where our underarm measurement stops. So I will cut it and put it on the mannequin for you to see. If you have any question, please drop it in the description, in the comment section. And I'll be there to attend to you. Let me cut this 5 inches home first. So that you can see what I'm saying. If you measure your arm underarm, you don't need to be disturbed at all. So we are 
have cut the let's assume we did not measure the arm also i cut at that five inch so now we want to check it to know where if it's we so this is it let's assume you have cut on that five inches what you just do is you just trim it out like this remember when we are trimming it out is on the underarm that we have measured so you just trim it out so if you measure your underarm you don't have a problem but if you don't measure your underarm this is how you just then you trim it out so at the end of the day this is what we have can you see this place is long this place is short and we have the round feet so when you open it up um notch the notch it like this let's notch it like this so this is what we have. When you open it, this is it. Can you see? This is it. Now let's put it on the mannequin to see it. The big the notch at the bigger part of the top, why the notch at the smaller part? So this is what we have. This is what we have. This, is, this one we did under here. And this will be up here. Can you see that this place, the down part is no longer. This is the down part. Can you see that it is no longer than the one on top of it? So this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Bye.